Hey, what's up? So we're going to embed a resource and then retrieve it using our own logic. And you would typically do this just to keep your resources more organized because if you use the built-in projects resources, they all go to one directory and you are also coupling your resources with your project a bit more in this manner. So sometimes it's nice to use um, your own resource logic if you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new folder here and we're going to add an existing, no, we're going to add a new item that is and I'm going to call this item, this XML file, my stuff and we're going to give it a root so we don't get this error down here. And we're going to add a class. And we're going to call it content loading. And it's going to be a static class. And we're going to have one static method in here. And it's going to yield a string. We're going to get the string contents of the XML file. I'm going to call the method get XML content. So the first thing we need to do is get the assembly, the current assembly. We're going to have to add the using directive system dot reflection. And we're going to use the static method get executing assembly. Then we need to define the fully qualified name of the XML file. And that's going to be the containing namespace plus the file name, which is mystuff.xml. Next, I'm going to declare a using block, and within the using block, we're going to create a stream and the using directive. And we are going to use the instance method get manifest resource uh, stream here. And we're going to specify our name. Now we have a stream to our resource file. Now to translate the stream to a readable string, the easiest way to do this is use the stream reader. So we're going to do that. So we're going to declare another using block. And we're going to use stream reader, create the stream reader from the initial stream. And we're going to return reader that read to end. And that's all we need to do. So let's go to the designer here, well, form one, and we're going to assign to text. So we're going to uh, add the using directive tut for the tut namespace, and we're going to call get XML content. And it will not retrieve the contents because I forgot to set the build action for the file. So select your embedded resource. In this case, it's the XML file here and change the build action to embedded resource. And there we have our XML content.